The judge wants discovery transfers to be done by July. And interestingly today, again, uh, Mrs. Rex Heuerman, as a Ellerup, this is her, she showed up for court again today in a black Mercedes again today. But this time there was no camera crew in tow like there were, you know, was last time. As a reminder, Aza Ellerup is in the process of divorcing Rex Heuerman. I'm joined now by Aza Ellerup's lawyer, Bob Macedonio. Bob, it's good to have you on the show again. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. Can I just ask good you? I'm so you. perplexed when I see. I, I'm so perplexed when I see Aza showing up for court so dutifully and actually visiting him in prison. I think you mentioned last time once a week. Why all of this? You know, stand by your man when she's divorcing him. I'm not so much as stand by a man. I think it's trying to come to terms with where her life is at now. Um, honestly, she has nobody to speak to, and she's just having a difficult time processing everything that's out there. There are protective orders that are issued, so none of the evidence she's seen, uh, her only knowledge of it is what's said in the courtroom, and frankly, with the news media reports, which none of us really have any information other than what's fed to us by the prosecutor. So... I have covered a lot of cases where, you know, women will support their husbands through the process and give them the presumption of, of innocence, and, and the same for men. They'll support their wives and give them the presumption of innocence through these cases, but not while they're divorcing them. That's where, I'm, that's where I can't figure it out, and I'm hoping to get, you know, you can help me get into her head there. Why, if she's giving him the presumption of innocence and showing up at these hearings and going to the jail, is she divorcing him? She, she's divorcing him. Um, obviously, other, other issues are going on in the marriage and information that she learned during the course of this investigation. There's other issues that are being developed, but she still does not believe that the man she was married to was capable of committing these horrendous crimes. It, it, she just doesn't seem as she possible. Believed it, well, so that's there you go. OK, so it, does she believe the parts of the investigation that say Rex was just flying through prostitutes year after year by the hundreds, but doesn't believe the part about the murder? Well, I don't know about prostitutes by the hundreds by hundreds, but it's obviously some information that she's gained during this investigation that is troublesome to the marriage, and she just has to you know, prepare for her life without Rex. That's, that's what she's doing. But she also needs to get some kind of a closure, and it may take a year or two for this case to come to trial. We don't know. So she's, who else could she talk to? See, there's no one else for her to talk to at this point. She's looked well, at she's got in those the grocery two kids, stores. You know, she's got those I'm two sorry? kids. I just, I'm just so, I'm always fascinated by, of course, if there's all that information and discovery uh, that's just so, so troubling, not just for a marriage, but, you know, there's got to be some suspicions um, about the case itself that she's still dutifully going to the prison to visit. Bob, will you come back again? There's still so much left to cover in this case. Oh, well, there's a ton left to cover. I, I, I have no idea with the 422 devices. I've talked to her about that today and discussed it with the numerous people. We don't know where that number is coming from. Um, they each took cell phones, computers from the house, but nowhere near that number. So it's going to be interesting to see what all these devices are. What, what they are. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I'm just like, boing. I mean, I counted ours, 53. Uh, you know, in, in my household. And again, I work in electronic journalism, so I figure I'm on the high end. But Bob, thank you. Thank you so much. Come You're back welcome. again. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.